Thank you. So uh, unless anyone is uh, inspired to jump to the podium now and give another lightning talk, I think we are finished with the presentations. So we now have some time for Q&A. Uh, I'm also going to put my email address in the chat. So if the speakers could please send me their slides, then I can get those posted on the uh, Summit Wiki page for future reference. At the, at the current moment, I'm not seeing any questions on Slack or Twitter or the Q&A or the chat, but there's still plenty of time to ask any questions you have. Uh, well, I'll certainly jump in and ask uh, Lydia a question, which is, uh, where does the code live for the translation manager? Is that something you're planning to share as open source, or is it more of an internal tool? Maybe I also uh, should uh, discuss this question for Antidama, but uh, I think uh, whether well, it's an internal tool right now, but I don't think that's, that there's uh, anything uh, against sharing it. Yeah, so we um, are just using it internally right now and um, made it compatible with uh, our latest Wu version, which is not 8. <laughs> Uh, but um, well, if that's interesting uh, for the community, we're certainly uh, willing to share that. Right? I mean, yeah. So, if you are interested, we could uh, uh, create a pull request and um, try to have that integrated. Yeah. But I mean, uh, it really uh, it makes it necessary to. Uh, um, well, it's very important to point out that uh, someone needs to make the changes uh, persistent, right? Because uh, they are done uh, right on the server, uh, whatever that is, if that's a test system or the productive server, and therefore it uh, needs to be handled with care somehow, right? Otherwise, um, all the work that someone or someone might do uh, gets uh, erased uh, with the next rollout. Well, as you may or may not have already noticed, there's a, a developer tool module of Viewfind that includes a language section, which right now just uh, includes sort of statistical information and lists of things that are missing from particular uh, language translations. Uh, and honestly, this was largely built by me to manage my own uh, coordination of translations. Uh, but since that's a feature that's only turned on in development mode, uh, it certainly might be possible to link some additional functionality into that that piece and not risk uh, production systems getting compromised. Yes, well, and we actually we have I think even integrated into this uh, environment, so it's only available if the admin mode is uh, enabled. So it's pretty much part of that, yeah. But if you're interested, uh, we can certainly uh, create a pull request and then we can share it with everyone, sure. Um, maybe I can add something. Uh, we, we did not actually uh, integrate it in, in the um, console version or um, because um, your your functionalities that, that was already provided with Viewfind was ju just not um, useful for our, um, our setup because we, we have uh, this giant set of, of local modules uh, with with uh, sometimes three levels of inheritance uh, who all provide their own translations. And some of them are in, in the languages folder, some of them are in the templates folder and so on and so on. All that could be facilitated with um, uh, a better, yeah, kind of language file integration from modules, but uh, it's, actually right now not possible to find all and and each translation that is actually in an installation with the tool you provided so this is why we had our own um, tool that, that gathers all of the language files throughout all places where they can reside Yes, there's definitely a significantly different use case for managing the core language files and managing the realities of a complex uh, deployment. Uh, and I also think there's probably room to improve the way we manage translations generally. I know that there was a long-lived pull request that 
sort of modified the way language file inheritance worked and we never quite got to the bottom of it. Uh, and that might be something worth revisiting someday. On with that, we're about five minutes from our scheduled break. So there's certainly still time for more discussion, but uh, we could also go to break a few minutes early if, if everyone is satisfied. Um, when we come back, it's time for road mapping. So uh, if there is anyone who's really interested in being directly engaged in that conversation and you're not already on the panel, uh, please feel free to uh, reach out through the chat and I'm happy to promote more people uh, since this, this part is meant to be interactive, but you're also certainly welcome to stay in the audience and just uh, talk to us through chat and Q&A if that is what you prefer. All right, well, I am not seeing, oh wait, something's just come up in chat. Ah, so uh, in the chat, uh, Mike Palmina says, uh, I'd like to bring up the matter we talked about regarding pulling custom fields into user records. So um, yes, I will give you access to the panel so that we can have that conversation during road mapping. <laughs> 